Hi everyone, in this video, we've got an attic find. <laughs> the last 25 to 30 years, this has actually been in my uncle's attic, so it hasn't been used. So in this video, we're gonna see if it does. Mm. So first of all, thanks to my uncle Roger, and in particular, um, my cousin Tom, for giving us this set. Obviously, if it doesn't work, we are gonna be returning it. <laughs> oh no. We've got a receipt. <laughs> okay, so. Let's say what it is first, because we've been sat here for two weeks and we haven't even had a chance to try it out yet. So um, it's covered in dust. We're going to initially going to show it you, then we'll give it, um, get rid of the dust, and then we'll put it on the track and we'll see what happens. But here's what it is. It is, well, you've got the Class 58. It's a midnight freight set. We've had a look at the instructions um, that came with it. The dated 1987. And the actual catalogue number is Hornby R986 Midnight Freight which originally came out in 87. The set was a special order for Argos. Mm, there you go. One well, these big catalogue stores like Argos and Little Woods, they did their own special, you know, train Oh, did sets. they? Yeah. I, I, I honestly show didn't them that? We'll take the lid off, then we'll move the camera so you guys can actually see it a bit better. So there we go. Watch out, it's stuck on the corner. Thank you. Let's have a look at this. So what we came with here, you got the operating instructions, which are dated, let me just see. R986, 3rd of the 12th, 1987. It was oh. probably a Christmas present, wasn't it? Right, we've got a few other bits, wagons, extra things with it. We've also got the Hornby Railways authentic train sounds. Now we've Look. got a we've got a kit um, a tape player, so we could actually play that. <laughs> I'm so. sure we have somewhere, yeah. so we Has should. Has it ever been played? Mm. Who knows? Who knows? We've got the service department. That address is still current. Is it? Yeah. So we send it them. There's something about line side buildings. And the instructions. So let's move the camera so we can take a closer look. Start with, well, I'll start with this. Not everything I'm looking at here looks like it came with the set. We've got a few extra bits. We've got this brake van, which is covered in fluff. <laughs> 30 years of fluff there. So we're not going to put it on the track until we've given them a, a quick, um, yeah. <laughs> not, not exactly a hoover, but we don't want to be going on the track like that. You'll notice in this video, there's no cat. Yeah, we did banner. So any Lola fans, I can only apologise. <laughs> so Do let's you want to just sit it there? Um, no? Let's have a look what it is first. Oh. Uh, oh, it's like an old Hornby one because it's got the old metal couplings. And it's a bit warped. But it's not part of the set, that's so all. Stick that over there for now. Mm -hmm. Have a look at this one. Obviously not part of the set. This is a very old Lima one, which is HO, a Coca-Cola wagon. Now, you know how much I hate the wagons on Lima. Sorry, how much I hate the couplings on the Lima wagons by using the Continental style mm. there. They're actually smaller. So that's an interesting. <laughs> right, this is the first one that came with the set. Now, that would have no. had a car on it at some point. I've also got this. Now, this is um, no dust on this one. It's a very old, that. It's Triang. Oh. I only guess that was one of Uncle Roger's rather than um, Tom's. So I've got to look at that. <laughs> we have shown this got a date bit. on it. So that's dated 1989. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. So, assuming it came with this, I don't know if it did. Did it, didn't it? But the instructions are 87, this is 89. Intriguing. Yeah. So this would have gone on the end of the station, it's something, for these to go up the wagons and the trucks to go up to load onto the wagons. It's quite nice, I like the colour of that. Quite a popular wagon, you do see a lot of them. We've never had one. And that's SC, I don't know what that stands for. Oh yeah, you can see a bit of dust on this one. 
Like I say, it's been sat there for so long, you just don't realise, do you? It's actually in very good condition. Absolutely. I mean, the wheels are all very clean, aren't they? Mm. They've not been used. <laughs> not that oh, often, anyway. Oh, has this snapped? Yeah, it, it does happen a lot on these, these Hornby tankers. When we go to the toys fair and that, you see absolutely loads of them where that's happened to. Oh, well, it is what it is for the age. I mean, considering these were for children, it's lasted really well. They're not for children. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. Why the white bread? I can Do hear it rattling. Yeah, there's um, some barrels and stuff inside. Oh, the dog's here. Uh, sacks of coal. Oh, is it? I can't. And some barrels. So there's the uh, mighty white van, and just let me, so you've got little tiny barrels, and what are these? Little sacks of mm. coal. Yeah, they are, yeah. Sacks of coal. So mighty white, I remember it being advertised in the 80s. It was something, something, something for kids, the bread, wasn't it? You know, mm. the, the... The advertisement. The advertising hook. Trying to think of the word, yeah. <laughs> but um, I don't really actually see it anymore. Okay, next. Now this is a familiar one. One of the most long living and popular Hornby wagons. Now this one's this one's got metal couplings. This did come with the set, but they've um have a look at that one. Maybe because it's an older design. A mix of metal and plastic. So that's a Texaco tanker. All present and correct. Has everybody got one of these then? That and the yellow one were massively popular, yeah. Yeah, look at it. Made for a long time. Has that got the plastic wheels dusty. as well? A bit dusty, yeah. yeah. When they first came out, I think they had metal ones on. So I'll put that over there. Now this, this is a later one. This has got... I was going to say, that looks... Um, I think these first came out 80, 81, the hoppers. This is... um. A few different variations of it. I'm trying to think, this might have been the first one. But they did continue slightly more basic and discontinued wagons, you know, and get rid of them in sets. Oh, right. Not, not with that one, but with some of them they would have. Have you ever got the metal wheels on there? We've got a few of them now. <clears throat> oh, no, so, one. should which bits are part of the actual original? All of what we've just seen. Apart from that, which is Lima, and those two. Right, okay. Those two weren't part of the set. Everything else is, because I've checked online. Ah. I've got one of these somewhere. Is it, uh, look, fluff, get that off there. That's a pretty basic um, mineral wagon, I think it is. All right, that's to go there. Last but not least. Oh. Let's have a look at this one. This is your favorite wagon, isn't it? I just love it. I mean, I love blue anyway, but. Nothing in it. I, I love that it's different on the other side. We saw one of those in our last video. It had been out in the sun, it had turned green. I did it though. I mm. wonder if it had a no. green background to start with because the rest didn't look faded. No, it, it just um, apparently Should happened. Should have bought it. Should have bought it. It was horrible. It was discoloured and. <laughs> I don't know if it was. It, it definitely was, but that's in great condition, <laughs> that one actually. It is. One more here. This is Airfix. It's not branded as Hornby. You can tell. Oh, there's a bit of the coupling this in there. So, Hornby still do those in train sets. That's the Airfix one, though. It's exactly the same. In fact, the Hornby one has some darker colouring on the top. Oh, does it? Yeah, I had a look at that one before. Hmm. These do have a nasty habit of derailing, though. Oh, do they? Hmm. So, what else have we got in here? We've got some telegraph poles. And we've got a lot of track. Which is the old track, which is the um, made in Austria. So that's not the the more modern nickel track. This is the old steel track. It was actually produced in Austria 
by another company for Hornby. So there's quite a few in there. There's no points in here, is there? No, but I think some things are missing because there's actually only two, mm. two of those. Oh, we almost forgot the loco. So this is the crux of the matter. Will this actually work? So it's a class 58. It's the, I don't know if this is the later one where it's got rail freight added. It actually might be a slightly later version. It looks in really good condition, but there is a buffer missing, but it is just the buffer, not the mounting. So we can put another one on there. Now this is covered in dust. So before we run it, we're gonna to have to just give it a quick dusting off because we're on all the muck getting up into the motor, do we? So we'll put that there and have a look at that in a minute. One more thing before we give a clean, we have this that came with it. A H&M clipper controller. Now it's not just any controller, this is actually my old controller from my very first train set, which I give to my cousin Tom all those years ago, and he's actually kept hold of it. Now I know it's mine, because I put that sticker on it back in about 1980. <laughs> Just saying, be cautious of overhead wires in electric. Now, looking at the state of this is in now, that's actually quite, you know, quite <laughs> pertinent, that, isn't it? I'm not even going to risk plugging it in. But it's just nice to have something from my original railway because I'm nothing else at all. Yeah. No. So what I'm going to do now, I'll put a picture of me on screen using this <laughs> at some point in the 1970s. Right. Cool. Yeah. Good so idea. You can all have a good laugh at that photo. Okay, the moment of truth, we've put it on the track. I've had a bit of a look at it. I've not oiled it, I've not done anything, but the wheels do need a clean. So we'll try it now, but we're not gonna overdo it and you know, risk damaging it. So let's just see what happens. There's a bit of fluff there for a start. <laughs> Didn't do a very good job. Missed it. Oh, that sounds dry. Yeah. How fast is that going though? Um, not going at all now. <laughs> This is um, so full at the moment. Oh, right, okay. Oh, so spark. Oh, right, stop it there. Let's that not damage it. No, I think we need to... Um, need to clean in an oil, yeah, I'd suggest. It's hard to see there. We need to take it apart a bit. But, um, yeah, we don't want to risk burning the motor out. So we'll, we'll give it an oil. So we just... Turn the camera off while we do that. It's not going to make fascinating viewing, is it? We've got to find the oil for a start. We've been having a bit of a tidy up and it's worse than when we started. Right, I'll give it a quick clean, nothing major. Let's just see if it's made any difference. It's jumping no. off the track. Oh, it's doing that. Is it stuck somewhere inside? Uh, I don't think so. That's a bit better. You might just need a bit of running. Oh, there you go. Mm. Mm. That's full speed though. Oh. <laughs> you weren't the fastest anyway from what I remember. Let me drive it right around there. Well, at least you've given it a go. I, I would think it may need a... It needs a good run. Yeah, a bit of a service. Yeah. But it works. Which is good. I mean, if I'd been laid up for 30 years, <laughs> I'd move a bit slow. Quick and grow a little. Yeah. Will it still be able to pull everything? It will, but we're not going to do that. Right, we've given it a quick run around, give it a light oil in. As suspected, after 25, 30 years of not being in use, it does need stripping down and a lot more doing to it. The good news is it's all there and it does work. It's nothing major. It's just a matter of cleaning and running in again. Now, the one thing about the Hornby 58s is they're quite unique in that they have a, the old motor that you get in the Smoky Joe tank engines. Because 
as you can see, really? the body is very narrow. They're quite unique. Is that the reason why? Yeah, they just because couldn't the make the normal ring field mostly getting all the other Hornby diesels fit in the body. So they got the tiny little <laughs> motor. It's almost like, looks like when you get in a scale electric car, mm -hmm. actually. Above some additional cogs. Yeah. That's the only way you can get it to fit in. So they're actually a really good motor. I think... Because they're quite, you know, tightly packaged, they can, I'm not sure, I think they do have problems in overheating. Right. If it's, you know, ran for ages and ages. I've, I've heard rumours of that. I'd have to check. But um, the good thing is that's a very, very good motor. The squeaking we've got will not actually be from the motor itself. It'll probably be just a bit, some dry cogs. Ah, right, okay. So there's nothing absolutely, you know, wrong with it. The wheels are still a little dirty. Just needs a good clean and running in. It'll be absolutely fine. And we need to pick up a buffer somewhere. But apart from that, it's cool. good. I did have one of these back in the 80s. Did you? Mm. <laughs> it's probably the last loco I ever had bought for me. I think I've got a photo of it. It doesn't look somewhere. that old, though, to me. I mean... It's, the 58 was brought in... It's like a modular design, you know, cheaper to make. Oh, right. Yeah, you got, they came in sections. They were just... It's very utilitarian looking, isn't it? It's not an elegant loco. No. They weren't actually... in service the you know that's successful i think the a lot of people didn't like them as much as the class 56. it doesn't look like a europe um an english loco so to speak it looks more american doesn't it in some ways yeah yeah but all they were done for is freight i think they were introduced into service in the early 80s it's 81 82 something like that oh right okay so they're quite a, a lot newer than the you know the other diesels and this is where right. this livery of the red stripe originated it was on these locos first. After that, British Rail did all the, the diesels in grey. So, yeah, a strange looking loco. Yeah. But, yeah. Hopefully, we can get it going a little bit faster, perhaps. And it doesn't need to go fast being a freight loco. That's I don't true. think they actually went that fast when they were new. Right. From what I remember. What I do remember is they were very, very quiet, unlike this one. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's all the dirt in it. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have a well, I'll have a, <laughs> a tinker. A tinker at some point <laughs> over Christmas and, and get it cleaned up. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. We'll get it going at some point.